In this presentation, I'm going to look at two simple functions in Excel that allow you to easily analyze data in lists. Okay, here is a very simple list we have on the screen. It's simply a set of invoices to customers and products, how much they've been invoiced and whether they've paid or not. And the spreadsheet goes down to about 100 customers or so. Okay, now we're going to look at two ways that we can look at this data. The first one is I'm going to look to see how the status bar can help. Now a lot of people don't realize that this status bar at the bottom can actually be any help at all. But if I right click on it, so that's right clicking with my mouse, you see a menu comes up and I can select one of the options. So I'm going to sum. Now when I select cells, you see what it's doing on the fly for me here is actually adding the selected cells together. So here it tells me that the sum of everything I've selected there is £7,444.75. I can right click on that again and I can give me the minimum value in that list, the maximum value in that list, the average, or in fact the number of items I've selected. So I've done all that without writing any functions in Excel or anything complicated at all. Just simply using a right click on the status bar. This feature is even more powerful when combined with something else that I'm going to show you now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my header row here and I'm going to go to Data, Filter, Auto Filter. Okay, so that's all you need to do to use this function. And you see now what it does is it puts drop down lists at the top of each of my columns. So if I look, for example, in this drop down list, I can see a list of all my products. I have product A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, and here in the paid column, I can select this drop down and select yes. And now you see my spreadsheet is actually only showing me all the people who have paid. And what Excel does here is it just hides the rows of people who, who have not paid. So you see there's nothing here between row 23 and row 113 because all those rows have been hidden. Now the great thing is that this feature works with the status bar as well. So I've got 12 items and I should have received a total of £4,956.50 and unfortunately I owe the tax man £738.20. So again, using these two options here gives you quite good flexibility looking at long lists of data. I can add to that and I can say, well actually only show me product C. So now I can see that I've got tax of £52.05, those three items there, for all the product C's that have been paid for. I actually select the paid column back to all and now I can see that I've got some paid and some not paid but they're all still product C's you can see that little arrow is blue instead of black blue means it has a filter condition actually operational and again the status bar is working just fine so those two functions will give you a lot of power in Excel without writing a single equation just by simply using right mouse clicks on the status bar and tools filter auto filter